so only kids makes choice so personally i will buy the bill gamma gundam and the rick Dias as well because only kids makes choice i want both hey guys welcome back to the one channel today we are going to be reviewing the rick Dias revised version or in mg language version 1.5 I picked this up at Little Robot for $52, not bad at all honestly. By the way, Little Robot, if you guys saw this video, I'm very happy to accept the sponsor and you know, let everyone know about you guys since I've been your customer for around 3 years. Back to the Red Deers, I said it so I'm doing it today. Only kids make choices, I want them both. So today, Bill Gamma Gundam and Red Deers are in my hands now. I am excited to build this because I'm generally excited for the reworks. But before moving on to the next section, I will give you 3 seconds before you hear any ranting. You can skip to the unboxing part by the time codes in the description. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Bandai, I appreciate your reworks but seriously, Rick Deers in the premium Bandai section, did you hit your head on the tree? A popular design that everyone knows had to go to the PB section. Even you release it as a regular version, I don't see people will turn away, so other than greed, you have no reason to put this famous design in the PB section. When has become that we need to spend more money on anime MS and reworks? You are on the throne, reworking is your job because you are holding the license. I am happy for the reworks but seriously, anime MS and reworks should never exist in the PB section. No one will walk away from a popular series, it's not gonna kill you if you put it in regular release. Other than greed, I can't even create an excuse for you to defend you why you put anime MS in premium Bandai. Guys, I'm not being a picky person, but this action started once, it's gonna flow for a long time. We shouldn't have popular anime MS in PB section, this is a rework. Everyone should get it and it shouldn't be a price race. Alright, I hope you understood my point of view, let's go to the unboxing part. Again, the first thing I will look at is the instruction menu. I'm sure it's easy for Bandai to use those templates and put a couple Rick Deers pictures in it. Or they could just reposition and upgrade the quality from the old booklet. I talked about this a lot, I spent that much money on premium Bandai and you can't even give me a proper instruction menu? I don't think I need to repeat myself about why the pictures and description were important. For the runners, it's just a couple of them so the whole build won't take long. In the build Gamma Gundam video, we already know that they are sharing the runners so you will see a lot of familiar runners. Surprisingly, it got no stickers but we know the rework is good and the colors are there. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rick Deers revised version review, so this is the finishing of it. We already looked at the build game of Gundam last time, and I said that it's not bad. I even suggest people to try it out. Last time, the build game of Gundam was white, so I don't really see the problem, but the Rick Deers is more obvious when it comes to num marks. Especially the binders on the backpack. They are from the old runner, which was why they got the problem. Basically, anything came from A and C runner got big num marks and very hard to clean properly. Other than that, no problem at all since the design was solid like the Bill Gamma Gundam. Okay, let's end the chatting and start the review. Let's take a look at the articulation, starting from the head. I mentioned in the Bill Gamma Gundam review that the head joint is a pig joint, so don't expect it's gonna have any crazy movements. At the side of the head, you will see a cockpit detail right here. For those of you that don't know, Rick Diaz cockpit is on the head, it's not on the chest. For the articulation, we can just turn it horizontally like this. If you pull this little red part up, you will see the hidden falcon guns inside the head. Let's take a look at the chest part. Unfortunately, just like the Bill Gamma Gundam, it's a pick joint at the middle, which means there are no extra articulation. There is a polycap at the middle of the chest, which means you can move a little bit of front and back, front and back like this, and you can also move the whole upper body horizontally like this. Now, for a revised version, I expected more than that. 
So honestly, both Bill Gamma Gundam and the Rick Deer's chest articulation, I am a little bit disappointed. For the arms part, is exactly the same, just like the Bill Gamma Gundam. The repainting part is exactly the same as well. So at the middle of the shoulder right here and at the top of the shoulder right here, just get a Gundam marker, color it, very easy. For the articulation though, first we can move 360, very easy. Lift up, 90 degrees, very nice. We can also move front and back for a little bit. The shoulder have individual movement that allows you to move up and down. The whole arm can rotate and then for the bending, it's touching the shoulders. So it's very good for the articulation. For the hands down here, we can move the index finger to easily transform to the weapon holding hand, which is the trigger hand. Let's take a look at the waist. So first, front skirt, individual movement. You can lift that up around close to 180, but not quite. For the side skirt, we can lift it up a little bit like this. For the back skirt, very standard XG performance, not movable at all. Let's take a look at the legs articulation. So first, kicking to the front, 90 degrees. Kicking to the back, not at all. Kicking to the side, bumping to the side skirt, so it affects the articulation close to 90 degrees. Bending, well, you know, it's a big piece of armor, so of course, it's gonna affect the bending, but at least it's better than the old version. Let's take a look at the feet. The feet is a big ball joint, so you can adjust it for a little bit. All right, let's take a look at the binders on the back. Now, the binders part, I actually prefer the Bill Gamma Gundam version because at least it don't have a lot of numb marks. Because if you take a look at the Rick Diaz version, there are big numb marks on the binders because they are from the old runner. If you take a look under the backpack, you'll see a beam saber. In the model kit, you're provided with a beam saber effect part for you to use. You can store a pair of pistols on the backpack. But again, just like the Bill Gamma Gundam, I don't really like how you store them because it's very weird. It's somewhere between difficult to put it in and after you put in, it's very loose situation. So personally, I don't really like the storage of the pistols. Let's take a look at the binders. The binders articulation are very good. Take a look at this. Nearly 360. Well, a little bit more than 270 if you're being very critical. But the moving feeling is not good at all. It's quite loose and it's not comfortable at all because you can just simply pull it out like this. So the articulation, yes, is great, but the stability, no, not at all. Lastly, one of the most iconic weapon of the Rick Deers, the clay bazooka. But honestly, this bazooka, other than there are surface details, I don't know what can I talk about because there are no articulation at all. So. Yeah, the details looks pretty good. Yeah, you can use it as a weapon. Yay! All right, we've come to the end of the review. The Rick Deers is not bad, but it's not very good either. I like reworks. I don't hate them, but Bandai, if you're going to rework something, could you please do it top to bottom? I hate to see these kinds of half reworks. And this is a premium Bandai. Shouldn't you pay more attention towards it? Even though this revised version improved a lot of things but I still think they could do better on the old runners, such as changing the num mark size, improvement on the binders so it won't feel so loose, and the chest pick joint is quite easy to fall out. As I said, it's not bad at all, but they could have done it better. If you don't like the red color, don't worry, Bandai got you covered, the black version will surely come as well. I put both Bill Gamma Gundam and Rick Deers together. Which one you like better? Tell me in the comments and share your opinions. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to it to get the notification whenever I upload a new video. Donation link is in the description and make sure you check out my blog at gamplerprices.com. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.